In this video, we will see a short program uh, in MATLAB uh, that will use both while loop and if loop to create a small game of guessing a number. So, what the game will do first, let me tell, then you will see how to write the program. So, the game is basically the MATLAB will generate a secret number between some random integer from 1 to 10 or 1 to 20, 1 to 100 that you can define and that will ask the user that guess the number and the user will guess the number and MATLAB will, uh, the program will tell us that whether the number is correct or not. Then it will count the number of guess also, okay. Number of guess means what? How many guesses? Let us say uh, the game says that maximum 5 guesses you can do. So, within 5 guesses, if you can guess the number which is generated by the MATLAB, the secret number, then you own or else you will consider that the number of guess is completed. So, you lost the match, okay. So, this is the basically uh, uh, theme of the game, small game we are going to create. So, for MATLAB, what we have to do here is, I will just open a new script here and in new script, as I said, as I use always, use CLC, then write close all and clear all, okay. So, after that, as I said, uh, always uh, write a section every time so that you can understand the code better later on. So, here we will write uh, initialize or let me write generate the random secret number. First we will generate the secret number, then only you can uh, play the uh, game of guess. So, here uh, we will generate the secret number, I will write secret, okay. The secret number is equals to, we have to randomly generate a secret number. So, the MATLAB will randomly generate. So, what is the function for that? I will write rand i, okay. The rand integer is equals to, it is a number. So, I have to give a bracket and inside that I will give a range here. So, what range I will give? Let us say I want to generate the number between 1 to 10. So, 1 comma 10 I will write, I will close the square bracket and I close the parenthesis. Okay, now this function what it will do? It will generate a random number for me. So, if you want to see that what general random number is generated, so let me run the code in this uh, scenario. So, I will save this as secret, I will just write number game. Okay. Now, if I run this, so every time I run, you can see it is generating a random number which is uh, 10, 9, 2, now it is 10, again it is 7, again it is 1, you can see this, this is a secret number generated. Okay. So, every time I run the code, it is generating a secret number. For example, I, I do not want to display the secret number to the user. So, I will give a semicolon there. Now, after the semicolon, what I need to do, I have to initialize some other things also. What are these? As I said, you need to give a maximum number of guess the user can do. So, here I will write max guess, make maximum number of guess I am allowing the user. So, that is equal to, let me take 5. You can guess maximum 5, within that you have to guess the correct number or else you will, you are out of the game or else you will lose the game. Okay, so that is this and to count that how many guesses the user has done, I need one more variable here that will take guesses how many guesses the user is making and initialize value means consider from when the user starts the program, the number of guess is set to 0, okay. So, uh, we'll in, that, is, that is being initialized and random number is generated. Next, what it will do, we will ask the user, ask the user to guess the number, okay. So, how to take that? Let us say guess the number, which number guess is equals to input, okay. Guess I am taking as a variable is equals to input. So, here I will write one message for, uh, message, uh, for, for the um, user. So, the message will be like guess the secret number, okay. Between 1 to 10, that is what we have given. So, I am writing between 1 to 2 and close the bracket, close it. So, here uh, we can write one more message also like display. So, here I will display that welcome to the guess number game, okay. So, I will display message. So, I Okay. So, this message will be displayed first, then it will ask that input the number. After it takes the input, then we have to start the 
programming that how we will check the number whether it is equals to the guess or not ok. So, first we need to check the maximum guesses that means user should not cross number of maximum it can guess 5 times. So, first I will check that. So, while what is the condition the max guess. So, this one I am taking how many maximum we are giving sorry while this number of guesses G U S S E S. So, this one while the number of guesses is less than ok is less than what less than the maximum guess. That means, it is less than 5. So, whatever you can take 5, 3 or 2, 1, 10 whatever it is. While the guess is max guess that means uh, less than max guess that means the number of guess you have made is less than the maximum allow allowable guess that I have given it is 5. So, what we need to do? So, inside that sorry. So, inside that we will ask this one we will uh, we'll be asking inside the while loop. So, when the number of guess is less than maximum number of guess we will ask please enter the input. Okay, the user will give the input here. Next, what we will do? So, we will increase the count of the guess. That means, user has made one guess here. Initially, the number of total number of guess is equals to 0. So, he will write guess is equals to guess plus 1. Okay. So, what it will do? Every time the user guess a number, the value of the guess will increase to 1. That means, when it reaches 5, ok. So, uh, at, but, but until that time it will continue the program after that it will tell that you have crossed the maximum number of guesses and it will not execute the program ok. So, after that what I have to do I have to write a if condition. So, if we will check whether the guess the user that have made is actually our number or not. So, we will write that if guess is equal to equal. So, remember whenever there is a condition in if so, you have to write 2 equals to 1 equals to is given for while loop, but if condition is given for 2 uh, things is equals to what is equals to the secret that is generated by the MATLAB if it is whatever the user has given the input if it is equals to the secret ok. If it is equals to secret then what it will do? So, it will print I will use the f printf here so that I can display some values here f printf and in bracket we will write congratulations ok you guess the right number ok. I can just uh, write this then we will write percentage d to include the number you guess the right number what is the number in again percentage d then you can write trials that means how many trials has been taken to guess this number we will see here. So, why that is required because how many numbers uh, how many trials has been given. So, that is actually it will show the num uh, user that ok you have used uh, uh, like 5 trials or 4 trials. So, how many trials you have taken. So, here you see I have taken 2 percentage d here. So, that means cumulatively I have to take 2 variables here and here you have to actually close this. Yeah. So, after this the first is you guess the number percentage d. So, the number value is what? So, I know the number is secret. Okay. So, here I will write. So, let me undock this so that uh, it will be easy. Yeah. Now, you can see the program clearly. So, here I will write secret which is the variable which variable the secret number that is generated here and then I will write a comma and after comma I will write the second thing number of trials. Number of trials is what? So, this guess is nothing but how many guesses it is making. So, here I will write guess and then I will close the bracket give a semicolon hit enter. So, see here now what we have done here is so, here we have uh, means if the guess is equals to secret means the correct guess is has been done then we will print uh, that the correct guess has been made ok. Now, yeah. so here what I will write 
then I'll write break. So what this break it will do? So actually, if the condition is satisfied, then this break will go out of the while loop. It will not further calculate the number of guesses and all. It will go out of the while loop here. And after that, we'll write end here. So this end is for the if loop here. Okay. Now, then if the guess is not equals to so, if the guess is wrong, then we need to do something, right? So, we will display, if the guess is wrong, then what we are going to display? So, we will be display that a message, try another number. So, we will just write try another number, so the user can give another guess here, fine. So, we will just display that message. And it will, what it will do? So, see, now here let us say the guess is wrong, it is not correct. So, if the guess is not correct, then this loop is not going to be executed. It will come to this line display, uh, display, try another number. And here, try another number after display, it will again go back to the first line here and it will again ask, guess the secret number. Okay. So, every time the uh, input is equals to wrong, it will go to the next line. Now, we have to stop the loop whenever the number of guesses is equals to the maximum number of allowable guesses here, right? So, we will write here if guesses is equals to is equals to equals to max guess, okay? That means how many times I have guessed the number if it crosses the maximum number of guess that is allowable. then it will stop, it should stop, it should print a message and it should stop it. So, here I will write display, you have reached maximum number of guesses and I will close this. After this, I will write end. Okay. So, now what will happen? If let us say, five times you have uh, means made it. So, if you have made it for five times, the so five times guess you have made it, then obviously that uh, it will say that you have reached the maximum number of case and you should stop. Again, I will write one end here that will end the while loop. Now, let us run this program and see what is happening. So, here I forgot this semicolon. Okay. Now, let us run the program. We have to go to the command window here. It is asking in line number, this line there is an error. Okay. So, if it will take 2 equals to, I have not given that. Let me run the code again. So, it is asking that, uh, welcome to, okay, this message I read, wrote wrong, W is missing here. Fine, guess the secret number between 1 to 10. Let me guess 5. Okay. So, it is wrong, it is uh, it's asking to try another number, let me take 4, it is not correct, let me take 6, it is also not correct, let me take 7, it is also not correct, let me take 9, ok, so 9 is the correct guess. So, congratulations, you have guessed the right number 10 in the in 10 trials. So, something is wrong here, because the guess value and the, uh, ok. So, this should, this should be max guess here, that is what the point wrong here is. So, I am displaying the wrong. I will go to MATLAB, MATLAB editor and here it will be max guess. Okay. Now, let us run the code again. Um, guess the secret number, let me take 3 this time, try another number, let me take 8, another number, let me take 5, another number, let me take 6. Another number, let me take 7. Another number, let me take uh, 4. 4 is also not there. 8, uh, 8, I have already taken 1. 1 is also not the answer. 10. 10 is also not the answer. So, what is remaining? 2. 2 is also not the answer. 9. So, 9 is the correct answer here. So, it will take congratulations you guess the right number 10 in 5 trials. So, actually right number is 9. So, why it is displaying 10? Let me check the code again here. 
okay the secret uh, is generated here and it is not displaying the correct number here and it is also not uh, stopping uh, after five guesses so why that uh, thing is there okay guesses equals to zero here what I, I have taken this variable and i have used the wrong variable here so it should be this one so this is guesses how many guesses i am making so this part was wrong so i should be using this here so that is why it was uh, giving wrong value okay so here also i think one break is required okay now let us run the program again uh, let me guess 6 it's wrong answer let me guess 4 it's not let me guess 5 let me guess 7 here 8 then 9 okay so you have reached the maximum number of guesses see here we have reached the maximum number of guesses and it is not allowing me to play, uh, run it again so let us run the code again and see so this time let me take it from 2 2 is not uh, correct 3 is also not correct 9 is not correct 7 is not correct 6 is also not correct so it's writing you have reached the maximum number of guesses I am unfortunate to get the answer. Uh, let me run the code again. So this time let me guess 3, let me guess 4, let me guess 9, let me guess 10. All right. Then congratulations you guess the right number 10 in 5 trials. Okay. So like this you can create a, a simple game using a while loop, a number guessing game now see this program has ended nothing else after it's not asking anything the program ends here so if you guess the right number the program ends or else if you uh, cross five number of guesses then also the program will stop so this is how you can uh, create a simple uh, word game using both while loop and for loop in the next video we will see some other concept so uh, please uh, watch the next video and uh, if you have any doubt please comment it